What's up, everyone? My name is Where Don't Care. My name is, and here we go with episode two of Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7, A Distant Echo. So last time on episode one, we saw the Separatists attacking the main Republican shipyard. And so Anakin sends Captain Rex and a group of talented mutant clones called the Bad Batch. And they go to a Separatist command center where they're trying to find out how the Separatists are able to predict their moves, figure out their strategies, and use it against them. And along the way, they find out there's a signal that's sending them this information, the separatist information of how to attack the Republic and how to take out their clones. And Rex finds out there's a possibility that Echo's still alive. So in this episode, we see Anakin going with Rex and the Bad Batch to find out if Echo's still alive or this is really a, uh, this is a trap and the separatists are just doing this to try to lure the Jedi. Who knows? That's what their mission for. They go there and find out what's going on. And I gotta tell you, I love the plot of this episode. I love the, to see, you know, Rex really believes that his brother's still alive. He believes that Echo's still alive, even though he believes he was killed in the Citadel from Season 4. But he wants to know. He wants to get this closure to find out whether or not, you know, he's alive. If he's alive, then he feels guilty for the fact that he left his brother behind without being sure he's really dead or not. But if he's dead, he can finally have some closure of like, oh, okay, fine. I'm, I'm just glad he's not being, he's not alive. He's not used by the Separatists. I'm glad for that. Uh, but we also see in the story the relationship between relationship between him and Anakin, how there's a close relationship between the two. It's kind of like the relationship Anakin has with Ahsoka. He trusts her. He looks out for her. And she looks out for him too. And... In this one, we see that same kind of relationship. We see Rex and Anakin have that same relationship where he Anakin's looking out for Rex, trying to make sure he's okay and help him come to terms or whether or not if Echo still if his, he's alive, I believe you, but if he's dead, you gotta prepare yourself for that, buddy. And Rex understands. He knows that if he's dead, he's gonna have to accept that, but he's glad that Anakin's there, you know, to help him and trust his instinct, which I Pedro would like and I love the Bad Batch in this episode they're still awesome they're still fun and yeah there were there was a time in this episode where they were a bit of a little dicks but you gotta understand why because how the regular clones probably treat the Bad Batch they treat them as outcasts they treat them like just you guys are just not like us you guys are just mutated you're defective and I guess that might be the reason why there is tension between the clones and why there was tension when uh, they just began telling Rex that, you know, maybe the guy is still alive, maybe he's not really worth saving, that, you know, maybe you left him behind. So I like that tension. I love the chemistry we have with these characters, and I love uh, the fact that the Bad Batch are, you know, can be assholes at times, but understandably, you understand why. So. Okay, what about the animation for this? How how's the fight scenes in this episode? Were they better than the first one? I did like the fight scenes here, especially when they're going in and attacking the Separatist droids. And I love, like, even though it is animated, so it's not really like a camera's following them around, it does feel that way. It feels like the camera is following them around and showing what's going on with the fights and who's getting taken down, who's fighting against who. So I do like that in this episode, how well... The animation for this still looks gorgeous. I love the fight scenes here. They're still great. Uh, and you're still just... You're just kept uh, hooked on what's going on. Because you want to know what's going on. You want to see if Echo's still alive or not. So, I like this. This is well done. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, episode 2. I liked it. This was a fun episode. I had no problem with it. I think the only thing I did have a problem was uh, the fact that we already know... We already knew how it was going to go. I mean, just the title alone... Just tells you that, yeah, we, we know the answer. We know what's going to happen. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have a different opinion about this episode, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think or what you think from the last episode. If you guys thought this was better than the first episode, if you thought this the first episode was better than the second one, leave some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. So that's it, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Give you more love and more entertainment. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my favorite page. Check out my Twitter page. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. Give you more love, more entertainment. Bye.